Uh, yeah. Looks good. He's running well. I think he's feeling good. It's good to see him out there. It's nice to have him back. So I think uh, so far so good. We'll see a little bit more tomorrow, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, maybe. Uh, probably a better idea by Friday, but uh, you know we're kind of trying to ease him back in and get him feeling good. I think today was another step towards that. What does just his presence mean to your offense, not only as a receiver but as a run blocker? Yeah, you you just have to be aware of, of him and uh, make sure coverage is going to him. It's it uh, takes a little heat off of some of the other guys, so it's good to have him there. Uh, in another threat to have to worry about. So I think it's it's a it's good for us and a, and a physical presence in the run game also. Hey, first down running was kind of your big thing last week. How, how do you feel like you're going to be able to do that against Ohio State? Is that still kind of a focus? Yeah, we're going to need it. Um, I think the production there, um, whether it's a, a completion or a, or a positive gain on first down, that's that's big for us. It just helps us on second and third down. You know, you get into better situations if you can chip away early um, and get into better third down. That's that's a big part of it. Take a little bit of heat off of second and long. You know, second and nine and ten is, is uh, you know, a situation where you don't want to be incomplete and then third and ten. So I think that production on early downs is really big for us, both run and pass. Hard to find a weakness on Ohio State's defense. Yeah, it is. They're, uh, they're really deep up front. Uh, they rotate eight guys. They've got they've got depth with with big strong guys and then edge rushers that can move. Um, they've got uh, a really solid group of linebackers. Probably the best secondary we've faced also. So it you know top to bottom really talented personnel and uh, you know we've got to be able to cover them up and get some yards early and then and then uh, protect the quarterback and go after them. Coach, how do you contain a guy as explosive as Nick Bosa? You know, I think just making sure you have uh, coverage on him, not just letting him go to work on a tackle and on an island. You know, make sure a tight end's helping, a back is helping, uh, or, or slide to that problem. You know, I think we just have to be very aware of their pass rushers and uh, make sure we do a good job on chipping him and, and uh, helping those tackles. Well, they've, you know, I think they've, they've, people have moved the ball on them, and I think that they've had some things where they've been able to uh, drop the linebackers and kind of get downfield on them. Um, you know, they do, they do play a lot of man. They press a lot on the corners, so they're, they're putting them on islands by themselves. So I think you have to take advantage of some one-on-ones. But, um, you know, like I said, you've got to be able to make sure you get the quarterback protected first. That's going to be a big key in the passing game and uh, and then positive gains in the run game. Is a 60-40 split still something that you want to see in this game? Yeah, I think that's, you know, I think that's a good thing. If we can have some success running the ball, it's always it's always helps us. So um, establishing that early and, and, and getting positive gains will be big. Um, you know, just to not have to rely, get into second and long and, and have to rely on uh, you know making those completions I think we still need them we still need them on first and second down but I think that um, you know taking a, a little bit of pressure off the passing game if you can have some success early running when you went back and reviewed the Wisconsin game with Tommy and some of the guys on offense do you like the way they they evaluate a performance like that and kind of you know opportunities that were missed yeah well, I think anytime you you know Sundays are great for us to be able to review the game and really go through you know, situationally, um, different coverage looks, um, you know, different adjustments that the defense made and how we can improve. Um, you know, I think every game is a really good learning opportunity, and I think Sundays are great for that to really kind of hash it out and, and then, you know, make the adjustments and, and get going on to the next game. You were in a wild environment last week. This stadium seats 108. Did you feel like your team handled the, the noise well? How do you feel about going into an even louder place maybe? Yeah, I think our guys were, were good that way. I think we've been practicing well in the noise. Um, I think that experience last week will help us for this game. I don't know if there's a huge difference between, I don't know what Wisconsin seats, but it was rowdy and uh, adding a few more thousand in there. 
Uh, I don't think that will affect us too much, but I think um, we do have to be ready for the noise. It's obviously a factor and, and continue to uh, keep our poise, especially in the snap count. You know, Divine, I think, is getting better. I think he's feeling better. So, you know, you'll see a little bit more of him. Um, then you've got Trey and, and Mikhail kind of in spot role. So th those two guys are, are pretty much in the same spot. But uh, I think getting Divine back and, and getting him uh, feeling better will help us. How do you think your guys have responded to the, the first loss this season? Your coach said that he, he thought they would be mad as opposed to saying. Yeah, no, I think our guys uh, were hungry and ready to get back to work. I think they were upset about uh, about that game. I think we had some opportunities. I think they knew that and felt that. And uh, I think they were hungry to get back to work. I thought Tuesday was great that way. Um, another sharp day today. I don't think guys are moping around and hanging their heads. I think they just uh, hungry to get back to work. Yeah, I think guys are getting in the training room and getting healthy. Um, everybody at this time is a little bit nicked, so you just have to make sure and everybody's got to take care of themselves and get some rest. And, uh, you know, we've got to make sure we're taking care of them during the week, um, trying not to have a ton of contact and making sure they're fresh and, and healthy, ready to play the next game. Yeah, I thought uh, they had some big runs. There was some scramble runs and some design quarterback runs. I thought that uh, that stuff worked well for them. So it's it's that's a good thing to see with uh, the mobility of Tommy. I think that is a good a good way to attack him. All right, thanks. thanks.